Hello everybody and welcome to this brief overview on Schoology and how Schoology works and looks. Here I am in the orientation course, but this would be the same if I was in any course. Um, your course pages should all look reasonably the same. On the left side of the page, you will see a menu bar. Um, the first one is materials. Materials is almost like your home base. That's where you will find all of the folders um, and announcements from your teachers. And you can see up here, uh, we have a sample announcement up here. So anytime your teacher has an announcement, it will always pop up at the top of your materials page. Then we also have an update section. This is where old announcements and updates from teachers might look like. And you can write a comment um, and post that when you do. That will go to the entire class as well as the teacher. So that is a public space for your teacher to post updates and announcements and also for participants in the class to respond. Over here, we have our grades tab. When you click there, you'll be able to see all of your grades for the course. We have the um, attendance tab. If you click on that, you'll be able to see your attendance for the course. So you can see if you've been absent, if you've been marked late or you have an excused absence, that will all be recorded there. If we go back to the materials section, back to our home base, you can see the modules here for this particular course and your teachers will also have their course um, sorted by weeks or modules as well. On the right side, you can see the upcoming section. This is where um, the calendar updates, upcoming assignments might be posted. Things that are due in the future will be posted over here on the right. Um, over here at the top is the notification section where you can decide how you would like to customize your own notifications. And this button here allows you to jump between your different courses that you're enrolled in without having to go back to the main Schoology page up here. This bell tells you um, about any notifications you might have. So you could click here to see your recent notifications. And this mailbox lets me know that I have three messages in my inbox. This is also where you can write to your teacher and I will cover a bit more about that in a moment. This shows you your calendar. So if you click here, you can click here um, to get into your calendar for the course. And it will also highlight any other courses that you might be in. So if you click here, this is the list of all the courses I'm enrolled in. So if I select particular courses, all of those updates and due dates will show up here. So I can see what's coming up for all of my courses, not just the current course that I'm enrolled in. If I go back into the course, I can now also let you know how to locate your online textbook. If you click up here, these four squares will take you to your online textbooks or down here where it says McGraw-Hill K-12. Um, that will also take you to your online textbook. If you are in a class that has an online textbook and you do not see your textbook, please go up here and um, send a message to your teacher so that they can assist you in getting your textbook. So right here for this particular class, we have um, several modules for you to complete. When you click on the first module, you will see um, there is a check mark next to any item that has been viewed or completed, and there is no check mark next to any item that has not been viewed or completed. So what I need to do is I need to make sure I click on the item and I read through that item. And when I'm done, then it will show up that I have completed that item. So I would take some time and I'm going to carefully progress through the slideshow. Make sure I read everything. There's also a video link. And then after I've completed that, I'll be ready to move on to the quiz. I have now taken the time to read through these slides and I've made it all the way to slide nine. So I'm ready to go back into my module one to find the quiz. One way I could do this is by clicking up here on module one. Another way is by clicking on the material section to go back to that materials homepage. So I'll just click here and I'll be back inside my folder. And I'm now ready to do the next item in the folder, which is the 
Facing Challenges with Positivity Quiz. When I check on, click on that, I will now see that I can start my attempt and I'm going to take the quiz. So I click on Start Attempt and I'm now going to take this quiz. All right, I've made it to the end of my quiz and I have the opportunity to submit. Don't forget this step. So I will now submit my quiz. Um, so I can see here that it's been submitted, which is great. So I have, um, I have completed my one attempt and I can now go back to using these breadcrumbs at the top. I can go back to my module. Yep. I've done both of those things in that module. I can go back to my materials homepage and I could see module one is completed. Now that I have taken that quiz, I should be able to see the grade in the grade book. And in the orientation section, I can see my grades. And if I scroll down here, I could see my score for the quiz. So it looks like I got one of the questions wrong on that quiz. I got a score of three out of four. So, so far in the course, I can see my overall grade. I can see my grade on this particular course and on this particular quiz. And I can also see all of the other assignments that I still have yet to complete on this, um, in this overall course. So I see I still have quite a few more assignments to go until the grade book's complete. So make sure when you check the grades tab, you can look for your current grade as well as your overall grade in this section and what assignments you still have left to complete. I've brought us back to our homepage once again, just to conclude the end of this video. Thank you so much for being with me as we went through this Schoology overview. And please check out the next video, which talks about how to email your teacher and how to communicate on discussion posts.